May everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. You may be seated. Greetings, parents, guests, and friends. Your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear her name announced. Please refrain from making any noise-making sounds, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractions that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and the grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and your congratulatory yells until after all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistants will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. The Ron Hill administration and staff would like to welcome everyone that is here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2013. We would like to also welcome the executive members from the superintendent's cabinet, Dr. Sivak, Ms. Rebecca Rodriguez, and Ms. Rogers. I would just like to leave these words with our students as they graduate today. Decisions are incredibly important things. Good decisions will come back to bless you. Bad decisions will come back to haunt you. That is why it is so important that you take time to choose wisely. Choose to do the things that will reflect well on your ability, your integrity, your spirit, your health, your tomorrows, and your smiles. You are such a wonder. You are the only one in the universe exactly like you. I want you to take care of that rare and remarkable soul. Once again, welcome to the graduation of the fifth graduating class of Irma Lerma Rung Hale Young Women's Leadership School, the first public all-girls school in the state of Texas. Each student in Dallas ISD earns a rank based on the high school classes they take and their semester grades. This morning, it is my honor to introduce the two students that were ranked first and second in the Irma Rangel graduating class of 2013. This class has worked extremely hard, so this is no easy feat. It is my pleasure to present our salutatorian for 2013, Ms. Stephanie Luna. We would like to invite Stephanie's parents to the stage to present her with her medal. After the presentation of her medal, Stephanie will give her salutatory address. Good afternoon, class of 2013-2017, family, friends, Rangel faculty and staff, and members of the Foundation for the Education of Young Women. I am Stephanie Luna, a student of Irma Lerma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School since sixth grade, and I am now proud to be salutatorian of the class of 2013. I cannot believe that we are gathered here today to celebrate our graduation. 
It seems like just a few months ago, we were in our red sweaters thinking, what on earth did we get ourselves into? As we cried trying to finish our project from Ms. Fehrenbacher, we wondered, was the laptop really worth it? <laughs> but as our senior comes to a close, I am sure that we can all say with sincerity that it was definitely worth it. Throughout our high school career, especially this year, we now know that this goal was the best thing that could ever have happened to us. Irma Lerma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School gave us a skill that, allow, that will allow us to become leaders in our community and in our world. It gave us the bond that we share with our sisters and the importance of servicing others. With the help of the teachers, Ms. Morano, our dear college band advisor, and the FEYW, we are going to places we never dreamed of or to the college of our dreams. I never thought in a million years I would be going to Cornell University. But I am proud to say that everyone in the class is going to amazing schools, and I know that greatness can be expected from every one of you. As I stand here and look around, I see the pride that radiates from every family member and every friend. They also know that you will achieve greatness. I hope that among all that greatness, you remain humble and strong. Don't let anyone tell you that you are not fabulous. Work hard and stay resilient. Focus because you can do anything you set your mind to. And never feel alone because you're only a message on Facebook away. I'd like to just say thank you to my family because they have always believed in me and are my best supporters. And I would say that you, my fellow sisters, are part of my chosen family. I love y'all. Thank you. I am delighted to present our valedictorian for 2013, Ms. Christy Tovar. At this time, we would like to invite Christy's parents to present her medal, and following that, Christy will present her final farewell speech to her class. Rangel faculty, family, friends, FEYW members, honored guests, and my fellow graduates, good afternoon. I'm honored to stand before you today to speak on behalf of Rangel's class of 2013. Seven years ago, most of us gathered at Irma Rangel for the first time. Our expressions a little scared, our new plaid skirts a little loose and a little too long. We did not know what to expect of the all-girls school, and so we began our journey there and knowing that we would be bonded together by each other's tenderness, love, and laughter, and knowing that we would become each other's sister's keeper, and knowing that we would grow together and turn into an outstanding group of distinguished young women at Irma Rangel. Take a moment to thank my fellow classmates and reflect on how far we have come, how much we have learned, and all the memories we have compiled since the sixth grade at Rangel. It seems like ages ago that we went through the Mario phase on our laptops, that we <laughs> fangirled over the new Jonas Brothers song, that we struggled to memorize Ms. Brooks' tedious literary elements, and that we stayed up late to finish our science fair projects, and that we learned France wasn't all about crepes and croissants. Fast forward to senior year, where our expressions were more confident, our plaid skirts more fitting, where we all crowded around Ms. Morano's office, panicking about our transcripts, stressed out with each application deadline that crept up on us. All the while, our sisterhood never failed us. We continued singing songs in the hallways, posing for goofy photos with Ana Iris, pushing the, that was easy, but <laughs> as we each received uh, admissions letters, and giving our extra food to those of us who were still a little hungry after lunch. Yes, I'm referring to Maria and Amarani. <laughs> we thought we would never make it to the end of the year, 
But of course, we managed to survive because the world couldn't come to an end in 2012, not before we, the class of 2013, could reach our greatest accomplishments. While we are fabulous, we can't take all the credit. We could not have gotten to where we are today without the time and efforts of the Ranghel community. I would like to take a moment to give a special thanks to my family, Mami, Papi, Los Quiero Mucho, and to all the other parents in the audience um, who have the most amazing daughters that I've had the privilege to call my Ranghel sisters. I salute you. I would like to thank Rangel teachers, staff, and PTA members for pointing us in the right direction. I doubt we'll ever forget the picky method from Mr. Ibarra, the sporadic assented conversations with Ms. Taylor, or the happy dances with Ms. Morano and her kazoo. <laughs> I would like to thank the Foundation for the Education of Young Women for believing in us and supporting us throughout our academic careers, because without them, 44 families would not be seated here today to celebrate our success. We all thank you sincerely. In the blink of an eye, this year has come to an end. I feel privileged to have had this chance to talk to all of you at once, my fellow classmates, because the sad truth is that this will probably be my last chance to do so. Congratulations on reaching this huge milestone. I'm forever proud to be part of Ranghel's class of 2013. You are among the brightest girls I have met to date, and I know you all have the potential to be the best of the best, engineers, veterinarians, nurses, makeup artists, photographers, and political leaders of the future. I bet my precious stash of Junie B. Jones books on it. <laughs> we did it. We finished the next big step of our lives. And although distance may separate us, we will always be a sisterhood bonded by more than just a plaid skirt. I love you guys, and I wish every one of you nothing but the very best of luck on your next greatest adventures. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I'm here to introduce um, the board member, Ms. Uh, Bernadette Nettle. Um, she represents District 9, South Dallas, and parts of Downtown Dallas, Pleasant Grove, Jeep Ellum, Uptown, and East Dallas. She was elected to the DISD School District Board of Trustees in December of 2009. Ms. Nettle earned a Bachelor of Arts in Business Management from Sam Houston State University in Huntsville. She received a Certificate of Competence Training in Instructional Leadership from University of North Texas in Denton. She was a community liaison at DISD from 1995 to 2005. She coordinated and managed more than 95 volunteers from nonprofit agencies, churches, schools, and various corporations. As a community liaison, she developed innovative programming, such as running for success and e-mentoring, and conducted educational workshops. She also helped high school seniors obtain scholarships from various sources and collaborated with counselors on the coordination of college recruiters, student recruitment, and financial aid workshops for both students and parents. Ms. Nuttall organized the National Take Our Daughters to Work, an educational mentoring program for minority young women at three Dallas ISD schools in conjunction with the city of Dallas. She's an active member of her community and in 1999 co-founded Circle of Support, a comprehensive academic and enrichment summer program that provides summer educational programs for more than 250 boys and girls in math, science, art, and reading. She's married and has two daughters. Ms. Nuttall regrets that she's not able to join us today, but she's with us in spirit. We do have an executive member from the superintendent's cabinet, Ms. Rebecca Rodriguez, that will say a few words on behalf of Trustee Nuttall. Good afternoon. I want to say, uh, first of all, congratulations, young women. Ladies, you should be so proud of, the, of yourselves this afternoon. You're, uh, I really have accomplished so much. Um, this is a very special occasion for me on a couple of fronts. Um, I am recently hired to the district here. I've been here a couple of months, but I'm also from Kingsville, Texas. And for those of you who may not know that, 
Irma Ledma von Hale was also from Kingsville, Texas. And I had the benefit of knowing her uh, growing up. She was a family friend. So when I realized that uh, as, as a member of the cabinet, we were going to have the opportunity to attend graduations, this was the first one I signed up to attend. It meant so much to me to know that I was going to be able to watch the graduating class of 2013 walk across the stage at a school named for a family friend. So first of all, I just want to say again, congratulations and all of you uh, for the work that's being done here in her name. It's quite an honor to represent someone, uh, you know, from the same area, the same hometown that I grew up in. I went to school with her nephew. I know her family quite well, and so it's just an honor. Um, and for those of you who do not know about Irma Lemmer von Hale, she actually epitomizes really everything that you could ever hope to aspire to be. Strength, perseverance, fortitude. She was a real trailblazer for many, many women at a time when it was just not really hard of, to uh, pursue a career. She, she did in, in, uh, in pharmaceuticals, and she was a pharmacist, as you may know that. She was also a state legislator. And on top of that, she was just somebody who really cared deeply about the people around her. So um, you're fortunate to carry that name on your diploma for the rest of your lives, and I know you're going to carry forward in her spirit as well. So on behalf of uh, the trustee who could not be here, I just wanted to say congratulations Congratulations, and I'm honored to be here as well. Thank you. As the principal of Irma Lerma Rung Hale Young Women's Leadership School, I proudly present this year's candidates for graduation. I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all the requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas, and they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. And as Chief Rebecca Rodriguez of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2013 graduating class of Irma Ledman Ron Hill Young Women's Leadership School. Congratulations. Christy Tovar, highest honors. <laughs> Estefani Luna, high honors. Anaris Alvarez, honors. Anna Christina Amison, high honors. Jennifer Amaya, honors. Guadalupe Ariola, high honors. Jamise Atkins, high honors. Marisol Barajas, high honors. Iman Belk, high honors. <laughs> Mitzi Briseño, honors. <laughs> Joanna Carizales, high honors.
Kimberly Castro, high honors. Hallelujah Chamiso, high honors. Cassandra Cuellar, honors. Lena Dang, honors. Anna Diaz, honors. Zidlali Esparza, high honors. Greca Galvan, high honors. Margarita Garcia, honors. Milagros Garcia, honors. Jimena Garcia Ruiz, honors. Amarani Gomez, high honors. Jacqueline Gonzalez, honors. Marissa Gonzalez, honors. Nicole Hayden, honors. Leanne Hodge, high honors. Joanna Hardon, highest honors. Maria Adriana Hardon, high honors. Kajila Latimer, high honors. Itzel Flor Martinez, high honors. Kimberly Mejia, high honors. Laura Montelongo, high honors. Monica Murataya, honors. Essence Peterson, honors. Irma Puga Lule, high honors. Cassandra Rangel, high honors. Andrea Marie Rivera, high honors. Tarion Robertson, high honors. Rocio Rodriguez, high honors. Wendy Rodriguez, high honors.
Lorena Sierra, high honors. Doris Soriano, high honors. Maribel Velasquez, high honors. Blanca Zapata, high honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2013. the class of 2013 to now, to recognize that you have graduated, move your tassel from the right to the left. history, light has been a symbol of life, the human passion, the spirit, and knowledge and truth. From childhood, we've been tasked with the importance of sharing our individual light by singing, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. The great thinker Plato wrote, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Following the tradition of Socrates to Plato and Plato to Aristotle, a teacher's greatest joy is when they see the spark of learning or passion for a cause begin to catch fire in a student. It has been the great privilege of all your teachers, from the ones who taught you how to tie your shoes, ride a bike, say your prayers, and share your toys, to the ones who taught you rhetoric, photojournalism, calculus, and the theories of science and economics. It has been our great privilege to help fan the flame of learning in all of you. Your lights are no longer little, so now our jobs are done. It's time for us to quietly take our bows, step aside, and let you shine. The light is now yours to preserve and pass on to others who need it. As Paulo Coelho wrote, no one lights a lamp in order to hide it behind the door. The purpose of light is to create more light, to open people's eyes, to reveal the marvels around. Godspeed to the class of 2013, and may your lights always shine brightly. Sisters, will you please join me in reciting the creed? I believe in the beauty of my dreams. I believe hard work and resilience are the pathways to success. I believe in the pursuit of excellence. I believe I am my sister's keeper. I believe I am a leader and I can make a difference in my community and the world. I believe in living a healthy and safe lifestyle. I believe in myself. Girls today, women tomorrow, and leaders forever. Thank you.
you.